What is up you guys? It is Katya Volks. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a review of, well, I don't want to call it the Lion's Choice anymore because that's no longer their name, but the King Lion Nutrition. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done one of these reviews of their new flavors. Finally, they came out with like some pretty cool new flavors and I was like stoked to try them with you and it's an off day so I'm having my off meal which I was like hey why not have some cookie dough with you guys so it's been a hot minute if you haven't seen my other reviews go ahead click the card above to check out the playlist to see all their other flavors otherwise if you've had them before let me know what you guys think of them but I'm so stoked to try these flavors with you so I don't even know what number review it is at this point so i'm just excited to have them but anyways yeah four new flavors i've got with you guys today this one here starting from my right to left coca-cola flow i don't know what to anticipate for that i mean it's just all solid one color so i mean sounds kind of weird for you know a cookie dough to be coca-cola flavor but we'll see and then it has this little thing right here says enhanced with our vitality superfood blend so that's kind of cool too that they added it's got like reishi mushroom lion's mane ashwagandha absorbic acid for vitamin c pure pure aloe vera extract so kind of wild that they could add that to a vegan cookie dough then we've got butterscotch chocolate chunk like I love butterscotch and chunks of chocolate you can never go wrong with that oops this is kind of teetering then we have ice cream cake, so that's a different one that I haven't had before, so I hope like the ice cream taste comes out as well as like, you know, a cake flavor, so I don't know what to anticipate for that. And then last but not least, cotton candy, a beautiful nice pink color we've got here, so that's probably going to be quite sweet. So I like my sweet, so I'm excited to jump right into these. I'm going to go ahead and start opening them up and then we'll talk about the macros as well. But if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like this video. Let me know below in the description box what you'd like to see. I have a lot to update you with in regards to what's to come for 2022 in this year. Fitness, all that kind of stuff, you know, protein reviews, whatever, whatnot. So please be patient with me as I am preparing those videos as well because I have been quite busy with work to be honest and just studying and everything but I'll update you in another video as for now we just got a taste test review to do so coca-cola flow for two tablespoons this is 80 calories 2.5 fat three carb and five protein so I mean it looks plain but from the sides I saw some white chunks so I'm gonna see if I can dig and get one of those whatever that is it's like a marshmallow maybe yeah I guess if it's a float no that would be weird I guess to imitate the ice cream. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how well you can see that. Okay, yeah, you can kind of see it there. So, let's see how it tastes. Mmm, whoa. Immediately, Coca-Cola comes through. That's trippy. And it actually kind of works. It's weird, but I like it. There's almost like this hint of cinnamon. But I definitely think this is just like a marshmallow to imitate maybe Coca-Cola on ice cream. Because it's a float. Duh. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty good. Feel like a Coca-Cola? Mmm. So different. Wow. Did not know what to anticipate for that. But I'm liking it. Mmm. And not until after I try all of them. Of course, I'll give like my review of which were my favorites and such. Okay, butterscotch chocolate chunk. Oh my goodness. This sounds just divine. So this one for two tablespoons, 90 calories, three fat, 13 carb, and five protein. There you go. You can see some pieces of chocolate. They're not chunks. I was wishing there was more chunks. I don't know if there's chunks of butterscotch. Wow, this is tough. Sorry. It's been in my fridge for a while, so. Because I wanted to try it with y'all. Ooh, okay. I don't want it to fall off my spoon, but it looks just like what I showed you. Mmm, whoa. Mmm, that is good. Butterscotch really comes through. It may be a little too much coming through of the butterscotch. I feel like they could have balanced it a little better. Oh my gosh. Crumbs. Mmm. 
wow it's a very strong butterscotch flavor and then the chocolate chip kind of comes out last minute so i'll be honest i'm a little disappointed in that but it's still very very good mm. wow so as long as you like butterscotch you'll like this flavor for sure wow yeah and then the chocolate it's kind of a last minute thing like you get the chocolate piece and then it, once like the butterscotch subsides then you can taste the chocolate so it's not super well balanced to be honest but i like it i'm liking it Ooh, ice cream cake okay two tablespoons 90 calories three fat 13 carb and five protein looks so nice with all these sprinkles and chocolate chips let's see if it tastes like ice cream Ooh, that was good mm. It's so subtle that really took a while for it to like hit my palate and for me to tell what the taste was. Hmm, I like it. Now that I can tell what it is, it tastes like cake. Nothing screaming ice cream other than like a taste of vanilla. And it's a nice, vanilla bean kind of taste versus just like a false like that alcoholy vanilla if you know someone puts too much vanilla extract in cookies so that's good so it does read ice cream cake maybe because i just had a flavor of butterscotch that was like pow in your face it took a minute but i like it i like that it's a little more subtle mm. Mm. that's very good Mmm, oh wow. Sweet. But good. Mmm. Talking about sweet, let's jump into the cotton candy. Let's see how this baby is. I feel like this one may not be popular among people, but you never know. So, two tablespoons, 80 calories, 2.5 fat, 13 carb, and 5 protein. In its glory, with some blue sprinkles. Too bad they didn't do like half pink, half blue. I've seen them do that with some flavors. So, ooh, nice and soft. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I should have gotten some water to like cleanse my palate. But now I can taste it. Oh, that's nice. It's actually not overpowering. Mmm. I was so, mmm. I was a bit worried about it being too sweet because that's definitely a possibility when you're going for a cotton candy flavored thing. I've always noticed other things that are supposed to be cotton candy. It's always overpoweringly sweet and just candy-like, which isn't bad, but sometimes it's more sweet than cotton candy itself. But this is different. It's subtle in the sweetness. The flavor itself doesn't scream cotton candy. I will say that. To me, this could pass as sugar cookie. So, that could be good news to some of y'all. If you're like, mmm, how sweet is that? It's not too crazy sweet. Mmm, I like this one. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm disappointed that it doesn't taste like cotton candy, but tastes rather like a sugar cookie kind of disappointed but it's still good nonetheless if you were to just call it sugar cookie so i don't know why they didn't just call it that but anyway so maybe they'll try to revamp that flavor so anyways <laughs> just to give my final review on these and give what is my top one i'll start with the bottom and i'll say because of the fact that it didn't match the name of the flavor cotton candy is going to be on the bottom but if this was a sugar cookie totally would buy that. I mean, it reminds me so much of like one of those Christmas like spritz cookies. Like there must be like a hint of like some almond extract or something 
but it's definitely not screaming cotton candy. So I am disappointed in that and I will put that in last place, but still very good. Ooh, next to that, I think I'm gonna say, surprisingly, the butterscotch chocolate chunk because the butterscotch is so overpowering. I was like tasting way more butterscotch than I was chocolate, uh, you know, and there wasn't much of a balance when it came to it, but it's very good if you like butterscotch, but it's just a little too much butterscotch, I would say. Next to that, oh man, this is hard because I really like these two. So I think I'm gonna say second place goes to ice cream cake and that's just because it's very, very subtle, the taste. And first place going to the Coca-Cola float because that straight up tastes like a Coca-Cola float and somehow it works, oh my gosh. The fact that they could make a Coca-Cola float cookie dough. I, I don't even, I couldn't even fathom making a cookie alone, but somehow they did it and it tastes really good. So I would say this is my top rating. Of course you can take it as you please. If you thought, okay, I want a sugar cookie, then you will like the cotton candy flavor. And I would, I would recommend going for that one. Um, if you are someone who's a huge, huge fan of butterscotch, you will definitely like the butterscotch chocolate chunk. It's just, there's not chunks of chocolate as I had hoped. So anyways, yeah, that's it for my review on these guys. If you want to try them out yourself, feel free to use my coupon code. It supports your girl, it supports the channel somewhat. <laughs> I really don't make much income off of this. So yeah, like subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all. I've got some updates for you guys coming soon as well as a recipe video that I've still been trying to edit. That's just really delayed because your girl's a bit busy. So yeah, I love you. I hope you are all doing so very well and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.